How are we going to make sure? To make sure it's going to work. Yeah, okay. Don't you? Yep. yep. It certainly it's works. Safe. We want it to stay there. <laughs> See if we can get a shot on that. Got a flag for wind there, low wind at the moment. Well, that's our shooting position over there. Definitely hard to see at the moment, but yeah, it gives you an idea of what we're looking at. Different shot with moonlight in the morning. Well, we're going to set up our uh, shooting position now. Uh, okay, so that's 105 minutes. I think I can. Yep. There it is there. So by the flag I tell you is about two to three mile an hour breeze going left to right on target. Yeah. There we go. So what do I want? I want Okay, well let's I'll just put five in this magazine. Okay. And we'll just go on the cold shot. So I've got 105 minutes. Where's that flag? I've lost the flag. It's got to be around there. Yep. Starting to get light. Uh, the sunshine through there, aren't we? So, I've got 105 minutes of elevation and I'm now running that should be 10 minutes of hold over. Okay. So, are you up? Ready when you are. To the right, half target to the right, and it looked like it was at the base of the flag. So I'm referencing directly in line with the flag pole, okay? Yep. Directly in line with the flagpole, nice and straight. Uh, we half the target tall on the flagpole, so it's in the stubble of the paddock. Oh, it probably means you're about where you want to be. Okay. Well done. Well, that's good. Yeah, and there it popped up. <laughs> that was three shots to get that. Yeah. And that puffer worked beautifully. Didn't it? Yeah. And then it did. Okay. That's all the way. Well, I'll do this long range verification. Okay, well, there's our um, drop down target. Set up out at the one mile, that's right on seven, 1760 yards. I'll just zoom back in. Uh, 
Okay, here we are back in here. Ready this camera. So, this is our little spot up on the hill. And over there, behind the dam, through the target worked out to be in the range of where the bullet's got a decent drop coming out of this. This is our Remington 700 um, in 308. So out there we're going to have a reasonable amount of bullet drop, which is the right bullet, which I chose to get that effect where we can actually not see the target um, and have it come and have it actually hit the target with the amount of bullet drop that's happening out there. So um, still nice and accurate out there, bit bit of wind like we normally got around here, but um, here's a little set up otherwise. But um, we'll go down there and show the target in a bit more definition. Um, we'll see you down there in a minute. Coming up on the target that's down in the dam, we can see our white marker sitting up there. Target's down. Yep. We'll see what it looks like. And hit. Good hit. There we go. Oops. So that's that's our hit there. We knocked the target down and brought up our popper. That's a nice shot there, yeah, so actually difficult to see, yeah, right under the sun. Back over there, one mile away, is where we were shooting from. Okay, so let's verify away. this target. Okay, so 1765, or 1766 yards to the target. There we go, one mile with a 308. Okay, back out to civilization. Yeah. 